this is Dorothy from Ducky Grows. So today I thought we'd continue our discussion about the different forms of growing with hydroponics. Um, we're actually going to talk about two today, and they're very similar. They're both non-circulating methods. One is the crappy method, which I like a lot, and one is the deep root method. But again, they're both non-circulating methods. So what does that mean? That means the water solution, the nutrient solution, doesn't circulate around like it does in the NFS system or the Dutch bucket system. The water solution is essentially stagnant. So there are a couple things we need to make sure that we understand with this. Um, and there's one big difference between the crappy method and the um, deep root method. But both of them, the water stays in one place. Both of them, the plants are on top. Um, and they're both pretty easy to use. So let's get into the difference between them. Okay, so I don't have any deep root systems set up, um, and these are typically done in greenhouses anyhow, but I just wanted to show you this mock-up. This is my plastic little bucket, and this is, if you recognize, this, this is a strawberry plant from the last video. Um, but anyhow, on a deep root system, you basically have a tub of water, um, and these are often very large, and you have a floater or a float on top. And essentially this is, as you can see, insulation most of the time. Even in the professional systems, they just use insulation. And this insulation floats on top and allows the roots to have access to the nutrient solution. And the plant just sits here and you can pick it. Now the issue with this system is, or the addition to this system versus the cracking method, is that if you think about the three things that a plant needs, water, nutrients, and air, this system really doesn't allow for any air to be at the roots. So when you have a system that's a deep root system, you really can't do it off grid because you need to add air. And so typically, just like in a, any aquarium, you have an air stone. And once you add the air stone, then the water and nutrients have air and allows the roots to have everything that they need. So in a deep root system, it is a stagnant water system, but you have to have an air pump because there is no gap between the floating raft and the water. Okay, so that's a quick explanation of the deep root system. Now the difference between the deep root system and the cracking method is very simple. The cracking method allows air. So let's take a look at this a little closer. This is that same tub we had, and um, you have to forgive the plants here because these. this is actually my strawberry uh, rootstock that came in the other day that I did the video on, and you can see starting to come to life a little bit, but this is just uh, rootstock. So in this, um, the difference between deep root and cracky is Dr. Cracky discovered um, that if you just leave an air pocket here, that the roots, as long as they're not completely submerged, will get the air that they need. And this system is great for off-grid situations because you don't need an air stone. What will happen is you put about this amount of air, and if you can see, and it's a little hard, but the cup the net cup is sitting just above the water. So there is a little gap of about a half an inch um, between the bottom of the net cup and the top of the water. And the plants will start to drink the water down and that little air pocket will start to grow. And that's fine as long as the roots stay moist, that air pocket can get bigger and bigger. And you wanna keep it maybe no, no more than half the entire length of root has to be submerged in the water. Um, so that's about the guideline. About half needs to be in water, about half can be in air. But with this system, the difference is, is what's holding the net cups is not floating on the water, but it's, it's stationary. So the water level can go down, it can, you can add solution, it can go back up, as long as half the rootstock is in the air and half is in water, your plants will be healthy. But no matter what, this net cup, um, are held stationary. And so that's the biggest difference. Because of this air pocket, we don't need an air stone. Off-grid with this one, not so off-grid with the other one. Okay, so that's the basic difference. And that air pocket does make a huge difference. So if you want to float a float on top of your water, add an air stone. If you don't, make sure you keep a, an air pocket. So this, one of these little cups, and I'm sure you guys have all seen these online, they sell them in all kinds of different decorative ways. Make sure if you have one of these, that you keep that little pocket of air and your plants will grow really healthy. This is sort of a hybrid system that I like. Um, I'm a big fan of using fish to feed 
my plants. So this is actually um, a deep root system because the if you if you can see the roots are actually completely submerged. The fish love it. They actually eat some of the roots and then they poop and the plants eat the poop. So it works out really well. But there is an air stone in here. So if you want to do a deep root system on your aquarium, I strongly recommend it. They work great. These plants start out. Right? They started out very small and now they're pretty huge and I might have to transplant them out of here. Um, but just make sure you keep your air stone in. You don't need to keep a filter on, but you do need to keep an air stone if you're going to do a deep root system. Um, with an aquarium. I don't recommend a cracky system with an aquarium because the fish need air also. So the fish need air, the plants need air, just throw an air stone in there and it makes sure it makes everybody happy and then you don't have any issues. Um, okay, so when you do these systems, these non-circulating systems, um, just like every other system with hydroponics, make sure that you use a good solution. You can use any nutrient solution you want, but especially with um, a non-circulating system, it's really important to make sure that the nutrients stay suspended. They don't settle to the bottom because this isn't the water is not circulating around. If the nutrients settle to the bottom, the roots aren't obviously going to get them. So you want to make sure that whatever solution you use. Um, that the nutrients stay, stay suspended. The other thing is because this is essentially stagnant water and the plants will take what they need, you really do need to check your solution often. Um, pH is really important. pH tends to go really high on these systems. So keep your pH wherever your plants need. Most plants like about 6.5. Make sure you check it. Um, and I will do a video on how to regulate the pH. But for now, just know that you need to check it. Um, and there's one more easy way to see whether or not your plants are happy. And let's take a look at that. All right, so there's one really easy way that you can tell, especially in your non-circulating systems, if your plants are healthy, other than the fact that they're nice and green and pretty. Um, you can actually catch some problems before they become problems on your plants if you look at the roots. Um, if you look at this root stalk right here, this plant's very young, but the roots are pure white. In, in a hydroponic system, you want your plants to roots to be very, very white. White is clean. White means no bacteria is growing on them, no fungus, no bad things at all. So the whiter your roots are, um, the better. So if you have a system and you pull up your plants and the roots start to look a little, uh, starting to look a little black um, or a little brown, which happens, check your nutrient solution. Um, you definitely have a problem. And we'll go over a video with problems. I'll probably do that video next, um, how to figure out what the problem is and how to fix it. But for right now, um, just we're going over the basics here, and I wanted to make sure that you understood that your roots need to be white. And again, this is a little crappy cup. One more thing, just to be clear, um, in an aquaponic system, and this is just a little mini in-home aquaponic system, um, you don't add a nutrient solution. The nutrient solution is the fish tank and the fish swimming around, um, and they're pooping the right amount of nutrients. The water is being heated to the right temperature because of the fact that there is a water heater in here, so you don't need to add a secondary water heater to your cracking method or to your deep water system. Everything is taken care of at the fish tank level. Um, so no water solution in there. The only thing you do want to add is the air stone. Okay, so... The positives and negatives about the cracky or deep water systems. Um, cracky method is great. I love it. I do a lot of things with this system, mostly because it's kind of fill it once and forget it. This cracky system is great for greens, and the theory behind it is you fill up the water vessel once, the water solution once, you plant the greens, and when the water is gone, the greens are ready to pick. So it's really good for something like that. Deep water system good for that too. Um, the issue with both of these systems is it's relatively hard to fill the reservoir. So if you are going to grow something other than greens, you need to refill the reservoir because the, the roots will drink all the, the nutrients up. And keeping the reservoir at the right temperature and right consistency with nutrients is a little bit difficult. So if you're starting out with hydroponics, Cracking method is absolutely the best thing to do, the best, easiest way to go. But 
for greens because once these greens get big and tall, the water reservoir in the bottom will be basically empty and then you know you're done. Um, so if you want to do greens, this is great. You want to do some medium sized vegetable like strawberries or squash. Um, the NFS system is really good and for bigger plants, the Dutch bucket system is great. And we'll do a video on the Dutch bucket system and probably post that in the next couple of days. Okay, so um, crappy methods, great because it's off grid. Deep root system is wonderful too. Um, and you can do houseplants, you can do vegetables. Um, this is actually a crappy method right here where there is a gap. As long as you leave a gap, call it crappy, put an air pump in, you can call it deep water. Whatever you do, make sure your plants have the nutrients that they need and they will grow happy and healthy. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please add them to the bottom. I'd love to hear from you guys. And check out our website at deckygrows.com. My blog is there and I answer a lot of questions there um, in a little bit more detail than I do on the video. Thanks for tuning in.